1.1 FM, AM 1160, and com. On a cloudy morning, it's going to be a cloudy day. We're on the way today to 77 degrees. Uh, so happy to welcome into the studio this morning Rhonda Sickles, uh, who joins us as the author of two books, two books, two books at once. Maybe not at once, but certainly uh, bo- both out together. Uh, and and we can talk about them both with Rhonda this morning. Our conversation is presented by Marcus and Mac, voted best law firm and best personal injury lawyer three years in a row in the Best of Indiana County contest. Visit them online, marcusandmac.com. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's good to have you with us here today. Now, uh, we should explain. You've got two books on entirely different topics, and, uh, well, I'll hand them back to you so you can hold them up and show them to our Facebook camera so people can see. The first one is called Baseball Fear, and the second one is, and she's holding that up for our Facebook viewers as well, Be a Butterfly. So these are two entirely different books. Uh, one is about um, your your struggle with breast cancer yes, uh, and, and uh, coming through that whole ordeal. The other baseball fear uh, is is one that was written as you were going through that struggle. Am I right about that? Right about um, towards the end of that struggle. Uh-huh. As I sat during my breast cancer treatments here at Indiana, I thought, wow, what do I want to do, you know, for, like, leave a legacy? Because when you're going through such a time, it's and with COVID, I wasn't allowed to have anybody sit in there with me oh, yeah. during my chemo treatments. Uh-huh. So it was a very quiet time, so I was left to my thoughts. By being left to my thoughts, I was like, wow, you know, I would like to write a book. And what really popped in my mind pretty quickly was baseball, because uh-huh. I'm an avid Pirate, Pittsburgh Pirates fan, and I've you. been watching my son's <laughs> baseball games since he was little. This summer was the first summer that he did not play baseball, and it was pretty uh-huh. bittersweet for me. Wow. So baseball fear actually stemmed from those early games Mm -hmm. on the baseball fields Mm -hmm. where I would see children with their fears and I thought, Oh, baseball fear. So the, the book is actually about a boy who has a fear when he gets up to bat Uh at, at the plate and he just keeps shaking and he can't concentrate. So he reaches out to his teammate, Bobby, who looks so composed when he's at bat and he said, how do you do it? And Bobby kind of laughs and he says, Oh, I'm sorry. I ask." He said, no, 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 I have, I have a secret. I have something to show you. Mm-hmm. So the book leads him on to a secret and on to something like looks like a blossoming friendship. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that, that's beautiful. I mean, uh, and, and is that something based upon personal experience or something that you just came up with? Something I came up with. Yeah. 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 And even during early baseball games, the little comments that kids made, and I remember the one boy, they said, what's your favorite – What's your favorite position? He said, on the bench. On the bench. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to stay on the bench. He, he, like- he kept his fear back. <laughs> if I stay on the bench, I don't get into any trouble. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. Brian Regan out there in right field, grape snow cone. <laughs> 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 that's yeah. wonderful. That's right. uh, that's tremendous. So you draw upon those experiences as a mom yes. uh, watching her kid play ball. And I remember everybody mm-hmm. when they're first out there, you know, a right. ground ball. What if that ground ball is going to come up and, and, and hit me in the head? Right. Uh, you know, what if this pitcher doesn't have all the control in the world? Uh, all I of those know. different fears that you might have. And, and one time when my son went for baseball practice, his coach brings all these tennis balls and they look like that's not the right ball. <laughs> and he says, I'm going to teach you boys a lesson today, uh-huh. and we're going to teach you how to get hit. Uh, so he how used to get the hit. tennis balls to yeah. get hit. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Tell me about the illustrations for the book. Um, the illustration. This book is actually done by Austin Macaulay Publishing. Uh-huh. So they illustrated the book for me. Oh, nice. So this is through an uh, actual publishing uh-huh. company. So they use their own publisher. Tremendous. It's been out for how long? This one was released back in November of 2022. Uh-huh. So it has been out. And how is a it done? Years. I'm sure you get all kinds of comments on it. Uh, uh, how, ha- how has it been received? It has been very well received. Yes, lots Good. of very nice comments. Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Now there's another book. There is. And, and, yes. And the other book. Uh, is very recent. Be a Butterfly. Yes. Okay. This book just came out a month ago. August 18th. Uh This book was released. I picked August 18th for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. It's World Breast Cancer Research Day. 
Mm-hmm. And it's National Never Give Up Day. Uh-huh. So when you're going through cancer, don't give up. There you go. So that, I thought, was the best day that I could release it. Mm-hmm. This was actually self-published on Amazon. Okay. I actually went through the protocols. Amazon has to review it before it gets released. But uh-huh. I went through the protocols of running it through there yeah. so that I could tell my story, my breast cancer story, of me being right here at the UPMC Home and Cancer Center here in town mm-hmm. and going through all of my um, different blessings that aren't, I had. Aren't they do. wonderful people there? Wonderful. They very, really, very wonderful. Really, really are. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Next month, we're going to have our breast cancer series with the IRMC uh, yes. folks, and, and every Wednesday we'll be talking about breast cancer, but now we have you to talk about with it. Yes. Uh, your journey, diagnosis, Mm-hmm. to to where you are today. Yes. Um, that's a really, really tough journey to go through, isn't it? It is. And whenever I talk about breast cancer, many times I say that it's not just physical, it's a lot of mental. Mm-hmm. Because when you're going through it, you really need to keep the mental aspect yeah. because you can pull yourself down so quickly whenever you're left alone mm-hmm. and feeling that you're alone. And when I realized when I went through breast cancer, I realized that there are a lot of other people out there that can help. And that was what really helped pull me through. Because whenever I started going through it, I thought, oh, no, how am I going to do this? Mm-hmm. And I was always wanting to do everything myself and, and very independent. And when I found out I couldn't do it all myself, uh-huh. then that was when all the blessings started to really come through. And, and, and I assume those are the themes that you develop in your book. Yes. 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 So why be a butterfly? What what is what is the, the significance of the title? Well, be a butterfly actually came to be because you talk about the comprehensive comprehensive breast center, mm-hmm. and back in twenty twenty one they had a theme over there: be the one you are the one in twenty twenty one, and I was the one. They picked me as the spotlighted breast cancer patient of the year and chose me to speak at their event, which will be this Thursday. Uh And I'm very excited to be going to that event in person because back in 2021, it was during the COVID times. Mm -hmm. And during the COVID times, they said, no, we can't have this event in person because the two two hive numbers, we're going to have to take it back. So we did a video. I did a video with Mm -hmm. the breast cancer surgeons over there at IRMC and also I wrote a poem because when I'd sit on my breast cancer treatments, I would write poetry. So I said, can I write? What do I talk about? What do I talk about? They said, whatever you want. I said, oh, good. Then I'll write another poem. So I wrote a poem and compared myself to a butterfly, Mm -hmm. saying that while I was going through breast cancer, I was like a butterfly in its cocoon. And when you're in a cocoon, you have to heal, get strong enough to fly again. Mm -hmm. So that was my basis of this. Wonderful. So I turned it into the book called Be a Butterfly, and I spotlight the actual poem that I wrote for that event Mm -hmm. where I sat over there and was interviewed in the healing garden. Well, you know, you can come up with a title, and Mm -hmm. it can have great significance to you and and maybe to those within your family, but then to develop it into the thematic book that you came up with uh, and and to help other people to go through their journeys uh, in such a way. That requires a tremendous amount of introspection, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. 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 And as I said, writing it, because I didn't write down all the details, I didn't journal everything that I did. But as I said, writing it, it really like, it really touched me again to think, oh my, I did all that. I went through all that. That's really, you know, it really, um, you don't realize that you're going through something. Sure. How much you're going through. Mm-hmm. And then when you take a, a step back and say, oh, I did that. I, I did it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you're sitting there in that chair, uh, I'm assuming you're, you're, you're having infusion. Yes. Uh, and, and as you're sitting there and uh, everybody is masked up, everybody in the universe seems to be all masked up as they, right. as they were back then. We were. Everybody within that, that particular unit at that time, because of the circumstances of their being there, they're especially vulnerable. Yes. Uh, you have to, at, at some point, say to yourself, um, either say, uh, this is, this is way too much for me to handle and I'm not going to get through it. Or you have to say, I have to find the strength somewhere yes. to get through. Mm-hmm. You had to make that decision. Yourself. I did. 
I did have to make that decision. Tell me about it. When? How did you make that decision? What? What led you to the path that you followed? It actually it made my decision from day one when I received a phone call said it is cancer, and I sat there thinking, oh no, and the tears started falling. I thought, oh no, and my son happened to be there, and I said, well, that wasn't the call that I wanted, <laughs> and he said. Oh, what was it? I said, I have cancer. Oh, mom, in his little voice, he said, Mom, well, you'll beat it, right? And I thought, yeah. Oh, yes, I will. I will. And I thought, that's it. That's it. From then on, I'll be strong because I have family behind Mm. me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This is a book that I think a lot of people need to read. Um, and, and so let's tell folks how to get their hands on it. Rhonda Sickles, there are two books that we're talking about yes. here. Baseball Fear, yes. uh, which is themed for young people. Yes. Uh, and Be a Butterfly. Right. Uh, for those who I'm assuming as well, I, I make a lot of assumptions, uh, is about your, your battle with breast cancer. It is. But can apply to anybody going through a cancer diagnosis or any real health crisis in their life. Right. This can help them. How do people get their hands on it? Um, both of these books are available on Amazon, and they're also available right here in Indiana at the Book Nook. Okay. So uh, both of those locations. Yeah. So, so. when you're going to Amazon, uh, just Rhonda Sickles will, yes. will get you. Just uh, put that in the search bar, Rhonda right. Sickles. It'll take you right there. It will? Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, it is It is quite the journey that you've been on. It, uh, it really was quite the journey, and it just it makes me really appreciate life, oh. you know. You know, when you're faced with a situation where you think, is this it? Is this the end? Like, is this where where my life ends? Mm -hmm. But then it continues. And I think, wow. And when I see a butterfly flying, then I'm like, hey, there you are. (laughs) Yay. You know, know, it's interesting that that old story about uh, the the butterfly that uh, the fellow came along and saw the butterfly struggling to get out of the cocoon. Uh, and said, here, I'll help, and took the cocoon off of it uh, so that it would be free. But the lower part of its body had not developed sufficiently. You need to go through the struggle in order to be strong enough to move forward. You do. Yes. And you did. Yes, I did. did. I'm on the other end. So good to see you and meet you. Yes. So nice to be here today. Rhonda Sickles, again, go to Amazon.com, Be a Butterfly, and a Baseball Fear, the name of the two books, uh, and, uh, and you'll be blessed. Rhonda, thank you. Hey, thank you. It's 825 in the morning. Yes. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com.